welcome back and welcome if this is your first time joining us thank you so much i really appreciate your presence if this is your first time watching or you've been watching but you've not subscribed kindly consider subscribing like share comment all the good stuff and most importantly share your thoughts in the comment section most importantly uh, because we'll interact there let me know what you think it could be positive as i always say negative name it and um just feel free honestly we will interact as we always do so for my people thank you so much for always coming back you watch you like you comment you share without you there is no channel so thank you so much for my moderators thank you so much for everything that you do on this channel so guys today we'll be talking about um david jr <laughs> the brother and uh, the mango but uh, let me just talk about one thing. Yesterday they were on this live on D Mango's YouTube channel. <laughs> I could not believe what I had. They were coming for the sister, the elder sister Winnie. And I was like, now you're doing too much. This one is not supposed to be for the public consumption. Because this is what they said. The sister, <laughs> the sister is not as rich as they are. And uh, she's not doing good she's not doing well and uh, she's an um, inconvenience to the family and that is why um, people should work hard so that they don't give birth to kids they cannot cater for and wait for the family members to take care of the kids <laughs> I know you're watching and you're like really really is that what they said exactly that that is exactly what they said and I was like I know <laughs> it's crazy honestly that is your sister and she's a sister who has not chosen to come out here she has chosen to not feature on the internet that much of course you can spot her on these channels the siblings channels once in a while but she doesn't have a YouTube channel and uh, she's not she's not an internet person and uh, that was so messed up honestly so Dimongo came out there. Oh, I know we are not saying that out of bad faith or something. <laughs> that is why I came out here and gave our sister a second chance. You understand what I'm saying? We gave her a second chance. Of course it was it was a lot. Let's go step by step because this is hey this is too much. It's unbelievable, honestly. I'll never come out here. Hey. And I know you will never come out here and uh, come for your sibling. Why? Even if they are asking for your help because you have the money and they don't have, they, they've not come out here to force you. So why come out here and embarrass them on the internet? Why? So, let's start off from the word go. So, <laughs> this is what Senso said. Believe it or not, I taught my sister how to be a YouTuber. <laughs> Yes, imagine. Yeah. For those who just joined yesterday, yeah. but I know, I know most of the people know. I they know, know the story. Yeah, they know the story. I always tell them if it yes. wasn't for Mara, yes. <laughs> life was a tricky situation. Imagine now, I can imagine you right now, me, I built a house like this, and you are a teacher arriving here with three kids. <laughs> I tell you, make sure your kids don't spoil my chair. <laughs> make sure they don't touch. They don't touch you. Uh, stay up there, you eat, and goodbye. Yes, <laughs> 1,000 for your transport. For your fair back home. Uh, that uh, life. Guys, life was tricky. But when you sure. empower everybody, yeah. you feel good to sit in a chair like this and discuss issues and mm -hmm. do a live stream. And you're not even worried, oh, my sister, my no, brother, yeah. this yeah. or that. You know what I mean? Yeah, that is how it started. Oh, Dimwango, you know, and the sense of by there, if I have to say this, he likes, not even praises, he likes when people know that. He opened the YouTube channel for Dimwango and of course played a huge role for Dimwango to be wherever she is at the moment. So, she started by naming, mentioning that, oh guys, you will not believe that I was the one, of course, yeah. He deserves the credit, honestly, but uh, he, he mentioned a lot and among them was the fact that... Um, is it a fact? I'm not so sure, but uh, this is what he said. If it was not for me to open a YouTube channel for you, you would have come out here on this party because they had a party because they are leaving the village. So it was a kind of get together 
Dimwango, if it was not for me, Marwa, to open a YouTube channel for you, you would have come around here <laughs> on this day with three kids. <laughs> and I'm like, is it a problem to have kids? But of course I understand. Do I? Yeah, sometimes, you know, if you have the kids and you don't have any means of uh, bringing up these kids, of course it's a problem. It's not a nice thing. Although in Kenya, I don't know if it's something to do with Kenya or it's all over. Uh, we have a saying that um, Toto Ukuja Nasani Yake, like <laughs> Ukuja Nasani Yake. So it's like a, a child comes, you give birth to a child and the child, and there is a blessing that comes with uh, the baby being born. I don't know how true that is, but it's a common phrase. But of course I know. You give birth to a child, there is one way or another. The child will just grow, especially in Africa <laughs> or in Kenya to be specific. And you're in a village, a village raises a kid. A kid is raised by the village, not an individual. So, in one way or another, the kid will flourish, <laughs> will survive. That is what I'm trying to say. So, it started by that. So, of course, and uh, Marwa was like, yeah, because huh? life is so tough. People will come out here giving birth to kids, and then they start depending on the siblings. Hmm? <laughs> If it was not for me, you would be in that position because I noticed that a lot of people in Africa, this is what uh, Senso mentioned, a lot of people in Africa are so poor because when one person in the family succeeds, that is Mura Senso, he doesn't share the, the blessings or how to fish. So you better be so grateful for me. You better be so grateful for Mura Senso. For saving your ass, <laughs> for saving your nyash, you don't come out here with three kids with no formula of uh, bringing them up. You know what I mean? I came to learn that the reason why a lot of Africans are poor mm -hmm. is because when some, one person makes it in the, in the family, the rest of the family depends on him. They def depend on school fees, they depend on him to send money home, they depend on him to pay their school fees. And then they're giving birth, maybe, let's say, my sisters and brothers are giving birth, knowing, oh, you, I have a brother who is rich, he will help me take my kids to school. <laughs> you know, it has happened a lot. Yeah, I do understand, yes. Most of the times, most of the times, uh, people with uh, no money, <laughs> forgive me if you find this offensive, but uh, according to me, because in the comment section, we always come out here with it disagreements but i hope you understand that um i mentioned some things out of my personal experience you know because i remember i mentioned something about uh, domestic violence is that okay out here women being beaten or something and a lot of you were like this is this was my statement guys in kenya it's not allowed it's not allowed it doesn't happen this is what i meant it's not allowed you know it's it's um it's illegal, of course, anyway. It's not allowed. And uh, I should have phrased my word that uh, it doesn't happen as it was. I think I even mentioned that as it was 30 years ago. But of course, you would agree with me. And I was giving that with my experience, you know, where I've stayed, where I've worked, my home, my village. It's, it never happens. To my experience, I've never seen that, honestly. But of course, I'm not coming out here to say that, oh, it doesn't happen in other villages or something. It does. But you'd agree with me. It's, it's not as often as it was, or it's not as uh, something so common as it was in the past. Because a lot of people used to get away with. And uh, of course, in the past, um, it was influenced by so many things, work, education, this and that. But nowadays, of course, you know, so many things have led to this improvement in that sector. And of course, I was relating, I was responding to, to Rocio because she came out here and she was like, oh, in Kenya, this is what I've learned. Men beat their women. And I was like, no, you're wrong, Rocio. So let me come back to my point. Of course, I had to mention that because I noticed a lot of you were like, Neo, what do you mean? Yeah, that is what I meant. But of course, I get your point. It happens. And of course, maybe just to mention, because I saw one of you in the comment section, yeah, I agree with not highlighted what happened to an athlete. Uh, is she a Ugandan or a Kenyan? Yeah, or even uh, maybe she's uh, 
I know she's a Ugandan, but uh, maybe she's married to Uganda. Yeah, maybe it's dual citizenship or something. So this is what happened, unfortunately. It's so unfortunate. So I guess most of you came for me because of that, because I mentioned that statement and for the same week, at the same week, I think the same day that happened to that athlete, which is so sad, honestly. This is what happened to her. The husband lit a fire. She was inside the home. The husband lit a fire around the home, which resulted to the demise of that athlete. A very good one. Can you imagine? It doesn't matter. That is a human being. So that happened. And uh, of course, it's so, so sad. And of course, that goes to tell you that uh, it still happens. It happens all over the world. But I was just trying to mention that uh, it doesn't happen as much as it used to happen in the past. Of course, may our soul rest in peace. That is so sad. I hope they get the justice that um, they deserve, honestly, the family. But I'm so sure hey, it will be worked on. It will be worked on because... Um, not just because she was a celebrity, but um, it's hard to mention that, but uh, sometimes it tends to be like that. If someone was uh, someone so known, the case would uh, be pushed to the end, you know. But uh, this, is what, this is something else that I want to mention. It's not the first time. Not the first time with the athletes. There is someone, I think last year, I can't remember the name, but she was so famous for running. Was it a 1500 or something? Yeah, she was so famous for that and uh, of course it was so sad. The same thing happened, but in this case, the husband directly, not uh, through the fire, but of course the same way. It resulted to the same thing. Just because the lady is more, is more rich or something. And uh, let me not even expound on that because I'll spend the entire day. <laughs> but uh, this is what I wanted to say. Most of the times, the athletes marry someone who doesn't have their own money so because of that some of the husbands of these athletes they want to the wife so that uh, they can marry someone else or they just want to the wife so that uh, they can take over the wealth it's just a messed up thing you know but a very sad one it's so sad so that is what happened with that let me come back to the video of the day where was i <laughs> what is happening so i just remembered what i was saying Forgive me for that, but of course I had to highlight that. So, Maro was like, you would have come out here with three kids. I know what he meant. Uh, when you don't have the money, you're just surviving in the village. That would have happened because most of the times, people with quite a number of kids are more likely to come from, not always, but more likely to come from people with the, um, not so well off, you know. They are not working, they are just surviving. Because if you're in the city or whatever working, hey, you become so intentional on what you do, the size of your family, this and that, because you're busy at the same time, you understand the meaning of bringing up a family, the quality of life you want. So that is what he meant. But now he didn't stop there. They went ahead. Of course, you know, since when he decides to talk, no breaks. <laughs> no breaks in whatever he mentions. And uh, I felt that... Um, that was messed up because this is what he said some people eh, Dimango, you would have come out here with three kids and i would have come out here to say you know make sure your kids does not uh, make the seats <laughs> they sit in the living room the famous seats in africa you know the seats i'm talking about make sure your kids do not make the seats dirty this and that of course unfortunately unfortunately that was that is what happens when you come to people's homes and you're less in terms of uh, finance and this and that, you <laughs> you go to people who are well off, that is how you're treated. And that was so sad because this is what went to my mind. And shame on you, Senso and Dimwango, so shame on you, more so Senso, because when he mentioned that uh, if Dimwango was, was not this uh, YouTuber, she would have come over with three kids, like the elder sister, and uh, Senso would, would be telling Dimwango not uh, to make sure, to take care of the kids, not to datify the seat. That goes to tell you how they treat their elder sister, which is so sad. That is exactly how they treat her, because Senso just mentioned, if that was the situation for Dimwango, that is the treatment she would be receiving. And now that uh, that is the situation for the elder sister, it means that is the treatment 
she receives. So sad. So sad. And uh, that is not just about um, saying so in the Adimwango. It goes, it cuts across. It happens to most of the people who are less well off, less um, who are just poor. Let me just use that term because that is the case. If you're poor, you depend on people. You go to these rich people, rich people, however you want to put it across. Of course, just people not in your level. <laughs> you know what I mean. That is, that is how you're treated, irregardless. It could be your siblings as close as your siblings. That is how you're treated. The way Marwa would have treated Dimwango if that was her reality. Sometimes it could be your parents treating you like that. Let me know. <laughs> if you have, a, of course, in real situations, but of course, if you go to the internet, some people share, openly share their experiences, and that is their reality. You're treated in some kind of way just because you're not as well off as the rest of your siblings, which is a very sad state of affairs. So, Dimwango went ahead to mention this. Let's watch, then we'll come back. The rest of the family depends on him. They depend on school fees. They depend on him to send money home. They depend on to pay their school fees. And then they're giving back. Maybe, let's say, my sisters and brothers are giving back. Knowing, oh, you, I have a brother who is rich, he will help me take my kids to school. <laughs> you no, know, it has happened a lot. No, even us, it happened before. Yes. We are not saying in a bad way, like our elder sister, my brother, when he came back home, yeah. actually she was like first priority, you remember? Yeah. My brother gave her now, money for even business. Even now, I, I pay school fees for my niece. niece. Yeah. It's, it's the last year, actually, I hope, hope next year I will be able to send money home. For her final year. Yeah, next year, fourth year. Yeah, she's in, she's in, she's no, form four. She'll be in form four. Next year, yes. Next year, So her yes. final year. Yeah. And so, again, our sister has other kids yes. growing up. You know what I mean? So, me too, I was looking at it and I was like, you know what? To save myself from all this, let me again give her a second chance because we gave her a first chance. Yeah. I was like, let me open a business for you so that you don't again tell me, oh, sister, you know, my child is joining. Yeah. I told her, you now work hard. Make sure you can be able to pay school fees for your kids. Yeah. Don't depend on me because I also need to start doing my own thing. You need so, your, you'll have, soon have your own family. Like me now, I'm, I'm expecting first born coming. Now you also need to start thinking about yes, so many I'm, things. I think there. about my kid, not somebody, somebody else, else. Who, uh, even if it's a relative. Yeah. So as I was telling you, the problem with Africa is when some one person makes it in life, everybody kind of, even cousins of cousins, <laughs> tend to depend on that one person. And let's say, for example, if you go to America, uh, a lot of Africans believe if you go to America, you've made it. <laughs> so my friend, they will be called, and those people in America, they can testify. They but unless you go there and change your number and disappear, <laughs> you know, that's different. <laughs> no but social media, no nowhere. Nowhere, they're looking for you, nowhere to be found. The <laughs> user not found. Like I saw the other day on Nairobi Gossip, they were saying there yeah. was a relative who went to Qatar to work. Yeah. For the past two years, no communication, no nothing. Mm -hmm. So they're worried, they're like, if anybody knows her whereabouts, to ask her to communicate back home. Yeah, sometimes it can be tricky out there. Life can hit you on the wall, and you know, and you have a lot of stress, and your family back home, they know you've arrived a place where money is everywhere, in the, even in the forest, in the streets. <laughs> uh, Nigerian bag, you know that bag? <laughs> yeah, the big bag, you the just walk bag. and collect. You know so, what I mean? Yeah, uh, I'm sorry to say, but life out there is a huge hassle. Yeah, and it's even more difficult. Yes. And even if you go to a rich man in abroad, those people are working hard to maintain or try to upgrade. Yeah. Otherwise, they will find themselves in the street. Yeah, it's very true, by the way. Yes. Very yes. true. Yeah, that is what she said. Yeah, that is what she said. <laughs> Guys, we are not mentioning this just in the bad will or something in... Just for mentioning, because, yeah, that is the case. That is why I decided... That is why I decided to give my sister a second chance. Hey, so that she doesn't come over. Eh? Borrowing me, guys. Oh, do you mango? My child doesn't have this. My child doesn't have this. Guys, hey, let me know. Can you do that to your sibling? Was that right? Let me not even go to these questions. 
was that right for Dimwango to say, for Marwa to say, for this family to expose their less privileged sister, not even privileged, the, the one with, who doesn't have the same amounts of money that they do? That was ne unnecessary, honestly. Some things are meant to be just for the, the three of them. They can talk about it buying the, the scenes, you know, but coming out here to out their sister in that kind of way, it's so sad because uh, they were so open. The sister did not uh, further their education, did not um, go to their levels, you know, and uh, that is what she does, going around begging for money for their kids. At some point, Senso mentioned that, uh, Senso mentioned that uh, he takes care of one of her child. <laughs> one of the sister's kid, the niece, just imagine. That goes to tell you that even your siblings, even your siblings can mistreat you, can treat you a certain kind of way because you don't have the, the amounts that they do, the amounts of money that they do. So, guys, hmm. but of course it was so notable that, um, uh, who do we call, what do we call this guy, David Jr. was not um, happy about the statements. I don't know if you checked when, uh, uh, when, um, when Marwa and the sister were going back and forth about these subjects, you could notice that David Jr. was silent, <laughs> extremely silent, because uh, I think he knew that uh, that is not for this place, especially that uh, David Jr. likes bragging. Of course, she would not appreciate when you come out here and mention that uh, they also have their weaknesses as a family, as a family, that is what I wanted to say. So. He didn't uh, mention anything on that subject, and I appreciate that about him. Don't come out here embarrassing your siblings. It happens. Most of the families, especially Kenya, you will not miss one or two of your siblings who are not well off like you are. You know, not even well off, as advanced as you are, whether in education, whether in finances, whether in whatever way you might want to imagine. Because after all, this is life. People cannot be the same, you know. That is what I have to say about that. Let me know what you think about that. Because uh, personally, I was like, unnecessary. So, guys, what do you think? Do you think it was okay? It was okay for them to come out here, mention it for people to know maybe they can learn. Maybe they can learn. I don't know learn what. Just let me know in the comment section if you have a different opinion regarding to what we've just, what I've just shared. So, Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much, so much for always coming back to watch. You like, you share, you comment, you subscribe. It really means a lot. And uh, for my moderators, once again, thank you for what you do because uh, it means a lot, honestly. It really means a lot. So, guys, that was it for today. Of course, if you've not subscribed once again, kindly subscribe. If you've not liked the video, kindly like smash the like button it's just somewhere here yeah it's somewhere here and I'll subscribe over here turn the notification bell on because lately i come out here with premiere so that uh, you can be notified when i premiere a video so that you can interact in the live chat which is something that i enjoy honestly because it feels different <laughs> it feels so different from the normal comment section because we chat live so thank you so much for every one of you who have uh, who has ever made to the premiers it really means a lot thank you thank you so much so that was it for today that was it is it for today I am, i'm not so sure about that but that was it for this video until the next one peace